right, in tonight's Family Focus, probably the most important free camp for Philadelphia kids ages 10 to 14. At Each One Teach One, their approach is to help save lives during the really active summer months and, of course, beyond as I'm well. I'm loving this camp. Yeah. Joyce Evans checks in on the Red Cross program that has quadrupled in size and safety this year alone. Before help arrives, a child is often the only person there to act. Emergency crews are on the way, but what more can a child do in those critical moments that can mean life or death? Ready? Go. One, two, three, seven. These kids might actually save your life someday when they complete the Red Cross's free Camp Save a Life. I was a little nervous when I came in here. But not so much anymore. I'm wrapping the gauze around it to keep the pack secure. I've been in emergencies before. Many of them have. All right, good job. And some of their families were helped by the Red Cross. How ambulance came around my house. Stephen Keyless remembers how helpless he felt when he, his sister, and his father were burned out of their home twice. I couldn't breathe at all, and then he, um, he couldn't call for help because his phone was dead. My sister was sleeping. One person at a time. So everybody has a partner, everybody has a mannequin, and go. Now, he can't wait to show his father his CPR and first aid techniques. Helpless no more. If you're done your two sets, you're done. I would know because I already, I was taught. You might not have gloves, you might not have gloves, you might not have bandages, but there's so many other household items and things you can use in those type of situations. If somebody's in trouble in the water and you're not a real good swimmer, what are you going to do? Throw in the towel. Go ahead. Literally. Eric, grab a hold of that. And just bring them in, okay? Make sure you're laying down on the pool. For the very first time, water safety is added to the Red Cross Camp Save a Life. You call for help, you got to sit down first. And a hundred additional kids will be trained. Good. Thanks to a private sponsor. That's a big deal. It is a very big deal. For youth of this age to get this type of training during the summer months is extremely vital. Especially with the number of accidental drownings we see this time of year. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Sit down first. Make sure you don't get pulled under trying to help. According to the CDC, of the 10 people who die every day from drowning nationwide, two are children, 14 or younger. Another study ranked Pennsylvania one of the highest for drownings just last summer. There you go. That's it. Swim coach Mike on, Lyles on, says on, overcoming on. fear one is more. most of the battle. There you go. Good. I started out scared, and then I realized that it wasn't anything to be afraid of. In no time, Taylor Stokes took to water almost like a fish. Like, I didn't think I was going to do this good, but I did. Are you all happy to be here in the water? Yes! All right. Now, by the end of Camp Save a Life, all the kids who pass and all are expected to are certified in CPR and first aid. And while they don't make lifeguard, they do get recognition for the water safety skills they learn. And now the Red Cross also has a free app that you can download and keep those safety tips right at your fingertips. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.